This is me. And for today's video is going to be about my daily Manila commute to and from work. Millions of Metro Manila residents may associate the word commuting with suffering. The rush hour in Manila is one of the primary reasons of distress when commuting to and from work. Generally speaking, rush hour in Manila is around 7 to 9.30 a.m. and in the evening around 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. Therefore, Manila commuters typically just leave early for work rather than wasting 3 to 4 hours stuck in traffic. And as a result, they are sacrificing hours of sleep in order to get up extremely early just to beat rush hour. These are just few of the everyday struggles that a regular commuter endures. I'm sure there are still numbers of commuting struggles to be discussed. Examples are standing in long lines for buses, trains, and other forms of public transportation until wee hours of the morning, or exhausting trips on crammed buses and jeepneys that move slowly through heavy traffic. On top of that, you are also being mindful of your safety. This is very important. So, I guess we can now begin? Hi everyone! Welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for watching. If you are new here, please click on the subscribe button down below so you can be updated to our new videos and you can join our little family. Uh, for today's video is going to be about the commuting situation in Manila considering now that it's slowly getting back to normal. Classes are now face-to-face -face and offices are now returning to office. Uh, katatapos ko lang magayos ngayon and we're gonna go na. It's about 7.30 p.m. and ang shift ko is 9 p.m. I'm on the night shift and my work is in Makati. Let's go ahead and start our day. Ayan guys, so this is our outfit for today. Ayan. Hi! So ayun, naglalakad na lang kami ngayon pa sakayin ng jeep. Natid niya ako hanggang sakayin ng LRT.
sa mga inuupa, may basa po na din ang bagay ni Ibig.
maraming tao. Daming tao, guys. lumawag-luwag na naman. At nasa loob-loob na kami. Parang kaming nasa digmaan. <laughs> Yung kasama ko, kawawa naman, napipisat na. <laughs> Hello po. Hello po. <laughs> Uuwi po kaming gutay-gutay. <laughs> Ayun, may lalabas. Ayan, may 
medyo maluwag-luwag na. Hindi naman typically ganito yung commute namin. Ewan, nasaktohan lang siguro today. Thursday. Thursday. Thursday morning. Ano? Okay ka po po ba? <laughs> <laughs> Makakatulog na ako. Bye, paalis na siya. <laughs> Hi everyone. So ayun, thankfully we're already home. It's around 7:30 a.m. and ayun, naka-survive tayo sa digmaan. I hope that you liked our video today and I got to show you what day-to-day -day commute really is considering na face-to-face -face classes and back to school na ngayon. I'm sure we do have different experiences. Siguro it differs kung day shift, night shift. If you are from different areas, for example, from the south, Laguna, Cavite, Batangas, yan ang mga medyo mahirap, di ba? Kung ang work nyo is Makati, Manila, medyo mahirap mag-commute. Um, from my experience, dati from Muntinlupa ako, so medyo mahirap din yung commute ko. I hope that you can share as well your experience down in the comments below. Mga viewers natin, yung mga manonood, magkaroon sila ng glimpse or insights from different areas. Um, sa LRT situation namin, hindi naman ganun araw-araw. Nasaktohan lang siguro. Ayun nga eh, sobrang sakto kasi nung nag-vlog ako, doon talaga hindi makaupo at sobrang siksikan, ano. Pero okay na rin at least, diba? Napakita ko sa inyo yung realistic day-to-day -day commute. Um, ang shift ko, 
starting at 9 p.m. ends at 6 a.m. So, typically, hindi naman siya ganun ko worse. Naabutan lang talaga kami ng rush hour siguro kasi 7 a.m. na kami nakasakay ng train. And as you can see from the previous clip, ba diba, medyo malala. Talagang siniksik na lang namin yung sarili namin. And kawawa nga yung friend ko kasi talagang nasiksik na siya and na ano na siya ng mga palabas at papasok. Kung ganun, kailangan yung tatagan talaga yung loob nyo, tatagan nyo yung tuhod nyo, at kumapit ng maayos. Lalo pag sa LRT or train, PNR, alam ko medyo um, worse ang situation sa mga trains kasi talagang siksikan. I hope that you liked our video today. I'm going to end the vlog here. If you did, please click on the like button down below and don't forget to subscribe so you can join our family. Also, it will be great if you can leave me a comment down below on future videos to film. Nagbabasa ako ng comment, guys. Ayun lang. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.